Last time, in amnesia. We woke up to find a note from ourselves that says we drank something to erase our memories. The note also mentions in passing that we should murder some old dude named Alexander. As we move forward, wind blows and we made science. Now, the story continues. Onwards! So, it said it reacts to tissue. I'm thinking that means we gotta find some of this stuff with that bucket we just picked up. Alright, I feel like I have scoured this room well enough. Well, maybe. Maybe. Oh, ho, ho. as soon as I said it. Oh, ho, ho. as soon as I said I said it. Come on, come here. I want to open you. That's what you get for not letting me open you. You too. I don't like boxes that I can't open. You suck. You're getting lit on fire. That's just how it is. Take it. Or leave it. See if I care. But you don't have legs, so you can't leave it. Traveling to Dover and going through the Canterbury, he made sure to pay a, visit, pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with the neglect of family. I neglect my family. Whoa! One time my little brother asked me to make him a sandwich, and I told him no. I feel bad ever since then. I know you guys probably won't like me anymore because I told that story. But please, please subscribe. Uh, another note. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. So I'm an archaeologist, am I? Digging up dinosaurs? Sounds appropriate. Nothing. Out of my way, chair. Nobody likes you. A note! 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. I was trapped? Okay. Well, obviously I did something wrong. Oh, oh, tinderbox. Tinderbox. I'm in light, don't worry. You don't have to have a heartbeat. <laughs> well, I guess you do have to have a heartbeat. What? <coughs> Chewbacca? <coughs> you there? I know you guys don't understand Chewbacca, so I'm just translating. Chewbacca! Did you eat someone again? 
cows. <laughs> that old baka chaka. This is probably the piano I was playing. Stop it, roaches. You didn't, you're not a snake. Stop pretending. Okay. Oil. And a tinder box. What's this? It's a memory! Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Downstairs, right there. Here, here, here. and there. Here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Over there. Get through. Fragible. Fragible, not breakable, but handable. Oh, I thought that was a rock. Bam! <laughs> nice. Nice one. One for ultra death huggies. Well, <laughs> apparently, that's just a knee breaking. 17th note. May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. So I have a magic stone. Where is it? Maybe I hit it. Maybe that's one of the things I don't want to remember. I do remember this thing. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. I wish I had that manly of a voice. That'd be so cool. You can never be too careful, Daniel. Daniel! Daniel Chang! No carefulness! Ah, that's loud. Aldstadt in Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Aldstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, the Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be, albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local, and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it would certainly serve as ex exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of, thir of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies were wrought by their tainted souls and they have been left disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, erudite, visited Aldstadt at, at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. 
During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwest glades, only never to be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in the Grenoble some ten years later. His, he dismissed the notion of ever vid visiting Aldstadt, which makes you wonder, what really happened? Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron The Baron of Brennenburg lives a reclusive life as his family at, at his castle nearby Altstadt, and like most those of noble birth, rumors are inherited, inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by, by a fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhineland, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle, along with the great leaders of this country. <laughs> I apologize if my terrible but fun to do British accent uh, is annoying to you guys, but too bad, too bad. This one, this one, uh, where's the other ones? This one with the... Oh! Oh, there's only three. I thought there was four. Okay, that works. I like how this room is nice and lit. That's very, very comforting. Take them. Whoa! Okay, then. Newt! All right, more British. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research for long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until not the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, in a sense, solve both of my problems. Anything in here? Nothing. Nothing, man. Okay. Oh, my! Whoa! Yep, that was the first time I saw him. Uh... Yeah, and I can't go here anymore. Oh my that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed and had an awesome time. With all the story we covered in the first two videos, we are now at the beginning of the Scarefest that is Amnesia. So I look forward to the journey into the next video. Because it's a doozy. I don't want to touch you! I don't want to touch you! I don't want to... Oh, no! Leave me alone!